Like everyone at Tupelo City Hall, Sally Williams works hard. But each day in the morning or afternoon, she takes a short break, leaves her first floor office, and hits the stairs. I go all the way up. Sally is taking part in a challenge issued by her boss, Tupelo Mayor Jack Reed Jr. We've got a, a contest called Stairway to Heaven, just not yet. There is a scoreboard strategically located next to the time clock. Each employee keeps track of his or her progress. At the end of every month, scores will be tallied and prizes awarded. On this particular day, a large group of employees bypassed the vending machine during their break and burnt some calories instead. Some have a clear strategy, and everyone says they like the results. I'm sort of competitive. I kind of jog up and then jog down so I can get uh, more, more time in uh, a little quicker. I guess my schedule is pretty hectic, so I, when I'm on the stairs, I'm, I'm uh, hustling. It looks like you guys and gals are having just a lot of fun uh, doing this and going up and down the stairs instead of using the elevator. We really are. It, it makes you more conscious of just being healthy. And I used to take the elevators all the time, and now with the challenge, I'm taking the stairs, and I love it. Not all city offices have stairs, so over at Municipal Court, employees are answering the challenge by walking the block on their break. And it's a team approach in that they, uh, they are doing it in groups of twos or threes, uh, or they can just do it by themselves, but it is a, it is a way of kind of kind of keeping the old heart pumping a little bit more than normal. Mayor Reed's challenge may target city employees, but he is hopeful that private individuals and businesses will start 2012 with the new resolve to become more physically fit. After all, a healthier workforce equals lower health care costs. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.